Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, it's been one heck of a week for me. Uh, sick, hurricane, and all that, but I'm still here, still doing my thing. Although the hurricane did slow me down a little bit trying to make my videos because of power outages and everything like that. But, hey, nobody ever said life is easy. So at any rate, we find ourselves in New Rochelle, New York with the Long Island frauditor Sean Paul Reyes as he attempts to audit a corrections department. Unfortunately, it doesn't go his way. Well, who could have expected that? At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All persons entering parole offices are subject to search and inspection. Let's see if the door is open. So this is the lobby over here. This is the parole lobby here. Yes, ma'am. I don't need any help at the moment. I don't need any help at the moment, ma'am. Okay, you cannot be here if you're not here to see anyone on the parole. There's a sign that says for visitors. I'm here to do a FOIA request. Yeah, sure, Sean. You're here to do a FOIA request. Yeah. There's nothing else that you would like to uh, do in this uh, office, would you? Say, uh, act like a complete jackass and think you own the place? Uh, be honest now, we all know the truth. For some public documents. Are you recording? I'm taking some pictures and video. Okay, you cannot do that. Why can't I do that? There was a lot of signs up front. None of them said that there was no pictures or videos allowed. Your, your, what'd you say? I could do it in person though, right? No, we don't do a FOIA request here. Why not? You're the agency with the records. There has to be a way you could do it in person. But why couldn't you handle it here? Because that's not what we do here. That's not a process that takes place here in the community supervision office. Ma'am, don't you know who this is? This is the Long Island frauditor, Sean Paul Reyes. You don't ever say no to him because, well, he'll FOIA request your information and he'll put it out on the internet. Oh my God, who the hell cares? So, I will ask you to leave because we cannot have any filming in here. So the only reason you're asking me to leave is because I'm recording? Am I making myself clear? Ma'am, you are very clear. I can hear you perfectly okay. fine. And I just, you're, you're, you're not my parole officer. I don't have a parole officer. I'm and you're not, parole. you're not, you don't have no authority over me. So, so I would ask that you de-escalate a little bit and talk to me with some respect the same way I've been talking to you with respect, ma'am. I'm talking to you with respect. Do I make myself clear? Is that, is that, spoke, is that, is that talking to somebody with okay. respect, ma'am? Sean, the phrase... Do I make myself clear is something you say to a subordinate of yours or a child that you are trying to discipline. There's nobody in here that is your subordinate nor are there children in here, you dumbass. Talk to this woman like she's a damn adult for once. You want us to keep standing here? You don't, you don't like it, do you? This is a public lobby, ma'am. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. All right, guys. So let's take a look around. So disrespectful to tell a grown adult, do I make myself clear? She has too much authority here that she abuses every day apparently no she's just being authoritative because well she has to deal with uh, criminal scumbags like yourself every day who need a firm hand to deal with she can get away with saying that kind of thing to people like you because it's part of her job but you come in here and disrespect uh, her like that well there's gonna be problems and well you've got them now Mm -hmm. 
How you doing? Hey, how are you? So this gentleman is requesting for a FOIL. I explained to him, FOILs are not done here. They're done through a request online. He's recording us. He's not on parole. I've asked him to leave the only. I'll just take it to pictures and video in the publicly accessible area, sir. May I get your name? I'm trespassing. How am I trespassing? This is a public lobby. Can I just get your names and badge numbers? Just because it has chairs in there and uh, a waiting room kind of establishment doesn't mean it's a public lobby, dumbass. I mean, if the door was locked originally and left unlocked, does that mean it's now public or is it just that somebody left it unlocked by accident? Do you get my drift? You're not on parole and you have no business here. And it seems like I do have business here. What's your business? I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. This is a publicly accessible area. This is a lobby. Um, I'm working on a story on the New York State Department of Correction and Community Supervision. Okay. They have a, a, a unit that deals with if you want information from DOCCS that they can provide that to you. Oh, I'm sure they do have a unit that provides information. I just like to go randomly and unexpectedly to public uh, offices and publicly accessible offices and, and conduct my investigation. May I get your names and badge numbers? Preston, 1939. What would you say, sir? Preston, 1939. Preston? And your name? I'm P.O. Report You're the one that said I was trespassing. I'd like to know who says I'm trespassing. I'm not getting my Why would that? Are you a public servant? I'm not getting my Do you work for the public, sir? Of course. So why wouldn't you acknowledge yourself to a member of the public? So well, you, you don't know any you don't know who anybody is until you meet them. Wow, did you think of that all by yourself, Sean? You should give yourself a pat on the back. Bravo, bravo. Do you want a cookie with that too, dude? Because we're fresh out of them. How is this a restricted area if the door is open? I don't understand. Actually, door is not supposed to be open. The door is not supposed to be open. It's really buzzed in, so maybe it didn't lock from the last person who left. But this is a restricted area. If you're not on parole, this is an office report station. So well, the door was wide open. Yesterday. Oh, really, Sean? That doesn't look wide open to me. Uh, let me guess. You just don't know how to tell the truth, do you? Just like any other frauditor uh, in existence. Hey, sir, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Are you a supervisor here? Yes, sir. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I don't have any identification okay. on me, and I wouldn't hand it over if I did. What's the purpose of your visit? So I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. I'm here to exercise my First Amendment right just to gather some gather some information. I'm working on a story on the New York State Department of Corrections. Excuse me. Sure, sir. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. You have no ID. I, I wasn't aware that I need to carry ID, sir. You're in a government building, a law enforcement building. Do you have identification? I wasn't aware I was, I was obligated to carry question, identification, sir. I guess common sense just waved bye-bye to you a long time ago, like honesty did as well. I mean, let me present you with a scenario. Say you were in a car accident and you had no identification and therefore nobody knows who you are. Just how will anybody contact your relatives if they don't know who the hell you are? I mean, it's just common damn sense to make sure that people can ID you just in case the unfortunate things happen in life, you know? So basically, Sean Paul Reyes here lacks any common sense, decency, or humanity, or even honesty whatsoever. So yeah, not the kind of person you would want to be around anyway. They might get you into some trouble. Do you have identification? No, and if I did, no I wouldn't give it to you. No, and if I did, I wouldn't give it to you, sir. I haven't broken any laws. The door was open. Do you want to check the door? Maybe it's broken. I don't know. Do people do people come in the office today? Are you guys open? Yeah, we are open. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking for some information. And they're usually buzzed in. So why why weren't 
Why wasn't the door locked today? There's no thing that says ring bell before you come in. There's no sign or anything like that. No sign, huh? Well, what is that right there, dude? I mean, is it the... My imagination, or is that an actual sign that says, ring the bell? I mean, come on now, Sean. At least pay a one little bit of attention to before you go inside of a building to make sure that there's a sign there or not. That's just another thing to add to the list of his uh, defects. Not very observant. Yes, sir. Do you have identification with you? You asked me that several times already, sir. Not. And I don't, and I, if I did, I would, wouldn't okay. give it to you. You have no legitimate purpose to be here. You need to exit this space. You may stand outside. Otherwise, you will be arrested. For what? Okay, trespass. This is a public You building. have no legitimate business here. Please leave. My, my legitimate business is asking questions of government officials. I'm here okay, to ask questions. If you do not speak to the media, I can give you a number that you can call and speak to. Please exit the Okay, so the can, you grab, can you grab me the I number? I will give it to you. Please exit the building. All right. I'm just going to take some pictures you of these publicly no, accessible... I need you to exit the building So this is a small lobby. Excuse I'm just here to grab some content from my story, and then I'll be on my way, me. okay? I need you to leave the building. And I Do will, as soon as I'm done no. conducting my lawful I business, sir. You have no lawful business here. I do, Please, sir. Please, no. You have not produced identification. If only everybody Sean encountered stood their ground just like this guy did, then Sean wouldn't get anything done at all. That is just so beautiful to behold. As requested by... Me, I'm the supervisor in this building. I don't have to I provide you identification. To, okay, then you have to leave. So Please if I provide you building. identification, I don't have to leave? I will review the identification. Please exit the building. All right, sir. Well, I need that did information. You get, did you get, the, get them? Matt, he's on the phone with the man. Get him on the phone. There's no need to waste law enforcement time. Please exit the building. This is a constitutionally protected it's activity. A, you have to leave. This Are you law enforcement? Question. Yes. You're in law enforcement? Yes. Please exit the building. You have no legitimate So you're saying if I don't exit the building, you're going to arrest me? You will be arrested. Please exit the building. And your name is? My name is Officer Koshin. Koshin? Yeah. Officer Koshin. Please. All right, officer. Your name, Koshin, will be on the federal civil rights lawsuit, Please okay? Please exit the building. Thank you. And your name? You have refused to and your name? provide any documentation. I'm asking, I'm, asking one of, I'm asking one of your officers their Please name, leave. and they're not providing they their name. I do not have to answer you. Please leave. Right, if well, you have a, we'll figure if out you who he is. Identification, we'll be more than happy to talk to you. I so because that, I because I, I don't have you identification, you're not going Please to leave. you're not going to talk to me. Please leave. I'm asking a question. So if because I don't have identification, you're not going to talk to me. I do not know who you are. If you're a media, I will give you a number. You can contact. Reason I'll take the number. I just told you. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I do not know. You can be anybody. Sir, this is ridiculous. This is a small lobby. This is a small public lobby. I've already seen Sir. everything that I can see. This is ridiculous Sir, please, for you to be please. acting this way and for your officers to be acting this way, please, especially please. her. Do I make myself clear over there? Please, because that's please. not the way you treat members of the public. I don't care if they're on parole Sir. or not. Do you understand me? Sir, you do not okay. have a legitimate Great. business. Here. I'll wait for law enforcement to come and we'll talk to them, okay? I'm law enforcement as myself, so I'm at... Then, you then you are in direct violation of your oath that you took I to uphold not. the United States please Constitution, please. sir. You yes, you are. I'll wait for law enforcement to come, and I'll speak to them and see what they have you to say about have this. Because you're violating my constitutional rights. Okay, go ahead and file your civil rights lawsuit. Just one question, though. Uh, how were your uh, civil rights violated? Was it your uh, sex, gender, race? I mean... What? I mean, it doesn't cover cameras, dude. It doesn't cover walking into uh, buildings that you're not allowed to go into anyway because of restrictive purposes like a probation office, you dumbass. No, sir. That's what you're doing. And your other officers here are being unprofessional, which is makes sense because you're their supervisor, right? I'll wait for law enforcement and we'll see what they have to say. All right, guys. Let's wait for law enforcement. Well, he never gains access to the building, folks. I mean, poor little guy. Why don't you just go ahead and go home and crawl into your bed and suck your thumb and cry into your little pillow and maybe you'll make yourself feel all better.
So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.